What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, Hocus Four Fifth, all that good shit. So again, we got Trey Ave. We're gonna talk about Trey Ave. Um, Trey Ave is crying again. I don't know how he even crying after you snitch, but he put out this statement and like a little crybaby after he done cried on the stand. So this is what he said: Trey Ave speaks out before sentence. Would you believe after all the evidence, I still have to go to jail? <laughs> what he really mean to say is, would you believe after I read it, I still gotta go to jail? Look what he says. Would you believe after all the evidence, I still have to go to jail? Sad face. <laughs> even though I feel like it's self-defense, even though I feel like my friend should have took some of the weight off my shoulders, that ain't the reality. The reality is in New York, we don't have traditional self-defense. The reality is I'm charged with attempted murder on a person that shot a bunch of innocent people, attempted to murder me, and killed the real one. R.I.P. Banger. I'm charged with possession of his weapon. The reality is that my friends, he's charged with other weapons he got caught in the car with. Y'all, this nigga just be capping. The reality is that my friends who were in the car were only down for the good times. They weren't down for the bad times. They weren't down to take a gun charges while I took the attempted murder and weapons possessions. That's when the concept of team became a myth. That's when I realized the streets is a myth. But regardless of that, I'm going to take whatever comes with this. With my chin up and ten toes down. No, you didn't. You already took the stand, nigga. What are you talking about? You already took the stand. I hope y'all use me as an example and learn from my mistakes. So you or your peoples don't make the same ones. Everybody claims they real until they get put in a real situation. You! You! You told! You took the stand. You got put in a real situation and you couldn't take the heat. You couldn't go to trial and face your own music. You had to take the stand to get lesser, to get lesser time for your charges. That's the guns that you got caught with outside the club. Um, outside the venue. Um, don't ride for people that's just riding with you and not willing to ride for you. R.P. Banger, one of the real ones forever. My sons will make my mistake. So he said, don't ride for, for uh, people that's not willing to ride for you. This nigga's complaining. He's crying because they didn't take his gun charges. How you crying? But, and you told. You you snitched. So all that's out the window. Yo, they ain't do the real nigga shit. They, so because they didn't take your gun charges, okay, for you to go take the stand on another man. Anytime anybody take the stand on anybody else that becomes a, D, uh, a witness for the prosecutor, for the DA... It's a snitch. Point blank, period. Whenever you go, whenever you go take the stand or you ever cooperate to get less of time on your charge, you are a rat. That is called rat. And that is called, I'm going to tell on him so that I can get less of time. Get out of here, cry baby. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your cries. You, you, you're a rat. You told, like, you, you out here dissing real ones. You keep making songs about my son. You keep doing this, doing that. But my son ain't tell. My son, you talking about taxi driver, whatever. My son didn't do it, number one, and he still didn't tell. His friends, my son friends didn't come out and say, yo, I'm the one who did it. When my son was, my son career was way ahead of yours. At, at that time, his career was way ahead of yours. But he still didn't go say, oh, damn, y'all did this shit. Y'all ain't going to take this charge? Well, I'm going to tell on y'all. No, he like a man. He he, he faced his accuser because his accuser was the driver in the state, in the DA. His accuser wasn't those guys. He got caught in a bad situation. Don't get me wrong. But it was no, it wouldn't have been right for him to say they did it when, I mean, they didn't say he did it. Or even if they did, that's not the right thing to do. Stop crying, cry, baby. Stop crying. Nobody cares. You already took the stand. You told you a rat. Nobody cares. Like, like I, I got to put this message out there because he's fooling the youth. He's making the youth think what he did is okay and it's not. It is not. That is not the guy to follow. You don't go out there and think that you could commit crimes, bully people, go start trouble. And then, and then when you when when the fire is on you from the trouble you start, you say, "Well, I'm gonna go. I'm telling on everybody. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a snitch. I'm not going to jail for a hater. So I'm a snitch on them and take the stand. It don't work like that. You'll be a rat forever. Just minus the bars.